I can pull that one out. Putting it all on the table, and now with the Akali locked in for Abadage, I like this. Now, Abadage, he has struggled, no doubt. He has been moments away from finding so this out. may be first aggressive play that we see. Flay now coming in, Dreams needs to be careful. He's making up the safety. Crown shot does just immediately disengage. Ignar burning down, but it's not going to be enough. Now it's Dreams going to be sacrificed. No level six there for the Alistair, and then it was just too late for Dreams in the bot lane. There could even be a potential repeat game oh, here. Oh, Flay! Ignar not going to be able to connect the hook, but now he's in trouble. Mento debating. Does he go in? They're gonna wait for the setup. No flash, Ignar no has heal. No health. He can't take a single tower shot. Memento's gonna start this one off. Upset desperate to get the kill back. Memento going to grab it, and that is the early game that shot out the escape tools. You're going down. World though now in trouble. Memento returning to the top side. World, I don't think you're gonna be able to escape from this one. Mantra not enough. Shalka now starting to take question. Jarva now with the empowered recall can go to any lane he wants and potentially force a tower with the sheer individual. They're looking at a lot of gold they can cash in on with the turret plating and the herald. Selfmade trying to make a big play. Kicks out of Wamne back. Now back in, but Abadagi is here as well. Selfmade doesn't take the kill back. Oh. He's going to get one. That's the one for one. Does give a kill over to Abadagi. Pyrian hoping to find something back here. Double buffs in the Pyrian pocket. Starving. Kali. J4 is here. Pyrian needs to back up. Have to play this one smart. Memento's just going to walk him down. The exhaust goes in. Now comes the ultimate period. Looks at that itemization. He pressed tabs. He sees no stopwatch. He sees nothing else there. He's going to kick him back. Now Warlock stepping forward. Oh, want to try to use the ult. He just instantly deleted. Punish this for first tower of the game after Selfmade just bullies Odell. And it was Memento who set the early pace, who found those early plays. Once they get a few more items under their belt, we'll make it much easier for them to take down a Baron. They move forward and Warlock now forced. We even forcing the tower down and not really losing anything. And it's brutal now for the Akali too. Because if the focus resolved lands that snare, you're just going to point to exactly where she's going to be in the shroud. We've seen for the last 10 minutes, and it's been SK the ones making the proactive plays, while Shalka have been a little bit slower to, you know, put utility, their... maybe some tankiness there. But the fact that Self Made and Whirlip are both specking into carry oriented builds, it's no longer if you just delete the Tristana Third, that you're just... fourth items coming in, that's where it's not going to be as high in a core important. Oh no! Oh, the input buffer hook, he's now going to pull him back, Pierre, and he's staying. Holding off, starting the fight. Dream's gonna try to land to have a override. The that's a big slam, but that's gonna be massive. Oh. Now taking him down. Selfmade kicking him out. Crown shot managed to find the kill. Abadagi desperate to get something back. Here comes the TP, but Odawamne needs to disengage. A massive cannon ult could turn this one. But is he gonna go for it? He flashes in. He's trying to find it. He's trying to turn this game around for his team. He's gonna get one. He's gonna get two. Has the Zanyas here. Selfmade available. Period coming in. Perfectly timed, and he gets shut down. Abadagi running in. Desperate to get something back. But Crown shot kills him. That's the quadra for it's it's gaming. But the sleepy trouble bubble hit exactly who it needed to. This is a Crazy swing for SK Gaming. And from falling behind to Memento dominance. What's it going to be crown shot? We talk all the time this guy has confidence issues, that he's been unable to transfer his scrim results to stage results. But when it counts, under the pressure of the spotlight. Fire cannon to come in at 75% crit chance. Now on the draft. half, SK are going to be looking to siege into their base. And at this point in the game, I, I think the only way Shulka are going to win the 5v5 is Marvel by only get one of those two shields. It's basically just the first one that procs. Now, Crown Shot is so strong at this moment that I don't think it's it going to matter. matter too much. The MR is certainly going to help, but oh man, Shalka. They were in such a good position after the early game, and then it all stalled out. They lose one team fight, they lose the Baron, they lose an inhibitor, and now their backs are against the wall for potentially the last time. It just feels like all the momentum has just left their sails, that they just kind of look lost, they look scared around the map, and to be honest, it's very hard for them to play from this position. They're basically looking for picks, maybe find one on self-made here. Self-made, chains it. comes in. Oh, quick shutdown, that's gonna be massive, but how much are they gonna give up for it in exchange? Crown shot, now gonna walk forward, use the Karma shield to tank up the tower for now. Gonna start to burn through that one with the explosive charge. Ignore off to the side, Abadagi desperate to clear something back, but Odawamne is on the way in, he still has the ultimate available. This could be the fight to turn the game. Drowsy, but they're still trying to find it. Where is Odawamne gonna go? They need that cannon ultimate, upset untouched on the backside. Still doing a lot of damage, but he's only hitting the front line. Crown shot remains untouched. Pyrian still alive, Warlord still forward. alive. This is gonna be the crown shot show. The team now tearing through the base all too easily. SK willing to take the 4v5 after losing their star jungler, and they're not done just yet. With two inhibitors down, they're gonna look for the Nexus. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be the moment. No ulti left for Odawamne. It's coming out. Upset needs to find a miracle play here. I don't know if he can do it. The creep wave is still there, but they need to focus the towers. Abadagi desperate to get something back, but that's a kill for crown shot. Now firing through one tower, and a Nexus stands in front of them. SK Gaming and their return to the highest level of European competition will make playoffs in their first split. Let's go!
SK Gaming coming into this split. No one would have expected it from this team, but in the last few weeks, they have completely turned things around. Crown shot in the bottom lane on these late game hyperscaling carries. Oh man, everything has come together and they came into this match. What a change as the favorites and they absolutely lived up to the hype. It was always a question of when SK Gaming were going to turn the page on the Mad Lions. They brought three